Hi everyone. Uh, today I would like to introduce the chapter five, which is uh, our R programming, which is talking about how to make a decision. So let computer to make a decision for you. So my topic is R decision making. Uh, okay, so there are three topics for this course today. Uh, first, I would like to introduce uh, a simple if statement for most of you. Okay, so anywhere is my. Okay, so I will switch my PPT slides uh, with R Studio file, uh, our R script file. So I will switch to a Windows during the course. Okay, so let me go back to uh, PPT slides here. So t today I would like to talking about how to make a decision making in R programming. So as uh, as all know, so computer can make a decision like human beings. So uh, we have made a decision all the time. Like if you want to go to class today, or you will have a day off today, so you may to uh, make some decisions. So the computer can do the same things as human do. So if you want to make a decision, so you will use this function in R. So let us talk about what is a decision making. So there is a decision making structure like the diagram on the right hand side. So this decision making structures require our programmer to specify one of more conditions. So what is conditions means you have make a decision, your statements. So since the station you in the real world, if you want to go to uh, Donghai University for today's class. If it's raining, so it's a statement. If it's raining, you may not go to the class during the weather is bad. So when we use the uh, decision making, so you have one of more statements to let the computer to make the choice. So turn to the count out there we have two uh, conditions. So one is true and the other is false. So true is yes when the condition meet your requirements. So you go to one uh, statement. If you if the condition cannot meet, so it falls. So you go to the other weight. So uh, students, so ha you have to uh, realize this kind of we call flow chart. Flow chart. Liu Chen Tu, the flow chart. So for the our decision making, we always have a condition. This. And if you condition meet your requirement so the condition is true so go to these statements okay so otherwise if the condition cannot meet your requirements so the condition is false so you always should keep in mind there has two choice one is true and the other is false yes or no Okay, so let me go to uh, there. There are three topics for this class today. 
So the R provides the following types of decision-making statements. So the first one is very simple structures for if statements. The second one is a complicated construction for decision making, which is R uh, is if else statements. For the last one is switch statements. So you have to keep in mind so there are three uh, decision making structures for R. Okay, so let me introduce the first topic for today's class is our if statements. So if statements consist of Boolean, is yes or no expression, allows you to make a decision by one of more statements. So since we have no, we learn the R language, you have to know what is this uh, syntax. It's like a grammar, a syntax. So the basic syntax for creating an if statements in R is you use the keyword if, if. So in here is we call the Berlin, Berlin expression. So it's your condition. So you have to make a decision by these statements. And then because the R statement is very simple construction for decision making, so you, you only have one condition code, which is always true. Okay, so let us copy this simple code here. Copy this simple code and let us go back to our studio environments here. Okay, so let me have a quick review how to use our script environments. Okay, basically uh, there are four windows in our studios. In the right bottom window, this one, you may use the files management here. You always use file tabs to go to your working directory. Okay, so let us go to our directory. So my, my right now I'm using my USB driver which is the uh, driver F. So my okay so I use this one as my working directory. So you can specify your own working directory as you like. So don't forget to declare to announce to set as working directory by click the more function here. You set as working directory. So you will see the commands here. So this command is set S E T W D. It means set working directory. To change your working directory as this pass. So you may you may use the online help to to see what is this instructions for. So it helps you to get or set working directory. Okay? Okay, so let me uh, in to to make my font bigger. 
so we can go to the tools global options so there are some uh, global options you can to set your environments in R Studio. If you want to change the font size for your uh, source code so you can use the third navigation here appearance so since my font size is 16 it's okay it's big enough so maybe I can use uh, bigger for you or you can see uh, it's easy to, to see okay so you can just click OK so right now I have my font bigger okay so let us create a new files a new script R script file for today's class don't forget to copy this simple code from your PPT okay so let us just copy this four one two three four these four lines are script files so let us go back to R studio so let us copy sorry I, so let me copy my source code again so you may type by yourself you don't have to copy my source code but I recommend you can type by yourself so the first instructions we assign a integer an integer 13, 13 into so let us clean our global environments by list to clean our global environment. So right now, the memory is empty. So for the first instruction here, I'm I would like to assign x variable as sixty. So you can run, okay? So you so computer keep this value. Uh, x as 30, uh, 13, uh, 13. Okay, what is L mean? It means integers. Mean integers. So you can type here class, C L A S. You, you can use class command to check what is the data type for x. Just run it. So it tells you the data type for R for X variable is integers. So please copy the result as these comments. So you may to show what is the content for this variable x so it tells you 30 right don't forget so we have talked about how the basic instructions for art so right now let us go back to our ppt slide again so right now i would like to check to check if the variable x is integer or not so my condition is to check to check the variable x is integer or not so okay so the condition if the condition meets if x is integer is an integer so it will go to the true statements here which is this part, this station, these statements. So I will print a string to announce x is an integer. Okay, so it's only one statement which is for true. If x is not integer, 
What will happen? Computer will do nothing. If the condition is false, it, it just terminate all the if statements. So it's a very simple structure for if statements. Okay, so let us go back to R Studio to see what is the R statements need. So what is is integer need? Is integer is a function to check to check your data type is integer or not. Also, you can check is is character or not. So let us to to demonstrate to what is this comes out. If I use is integer function, so don't forget to use online help to check every new instruction. It's a good habit to know. So it will to create or test object type x is integer. Okay, yes or false. Okay, so it's true, right? So it means x is integer. It is true. Okay, it's true. Oh, sorry, it should be here. It should be here. It's true. So what else we can check? You can check is. So you will find a lot of data type you can to check. It is none available. Is a integer? Is a character? Is a numerical? So you may you can choose. Is x is numerical or not? It's true, right? Because an integer is a numerical also. So the result is true. So you can check is character, ch character. It means string. So what is the result for this function? So we'll get the answer is false because x is an integer, not a character. So you know this statement is false. So okay, so right now I would like to use our statement to check if x variable is integer or not. As this result, so this condition is true, right? So when this statement is true, so it will go to this true statement, only one instruction. If integer is, if x is an integer, so we will go to these statements, which is true statements. Okay, so let me uh, run these instructions for you. So you may block all the fun the statement, uh, the instructions to run, or you can just leave your cursor in the first line of your if statements to run. So you, you may find the result is x is an integer. So just print it out. Right? Okay, so let me copy this instruction in the first two. Okay. So you know how to use if to make a simple decision. Okay, so let me uh, to do another examples for you. If I want to, if I have a, a variable called names,
My name is Steve. So I assign Steve to names. So also you can check the types for names. So that is character, right? So for name variable, names variable are character. Also, you can re, you can copy the statements again to modify the X as names. So right now, I want to check it is names is integer or not. So let me run. Okay, so names. So let me run it again. So where did uh, what result did we get? We didn't get any response. Why? Because you can see is integer names this instruction when I copy this one and pack to here to check is names variable is integer or not. So definitely you will see the result is false. Not true, right? It's false. Okay, so if statement check because the decision making is false. False, if the false statements, it will not go through to the true statements here. It will not run these instructions. And it just leave X, uh, if instructions. Okay, it's your turn to try the first topic for today.